Linked open data, how does it work? It's an amazing technology, um, it's marvellous, and the future of... Um... Did you learn nothing from the last video? Link in description. I know that linked open data is a great research tool. But you don't know how it works. No. First thing to do, let's make some data. Let's make some data! This ancient Greek amphora tells us a lot of important things and is therefore a great source of... Calcium? Data. Yeah, I knew that. Let's start with the basics. What, who, where and when. What? It's a red figure neck amphora. Who? It shows us people, gods and demigods. Where? Discovered in Mycenae. When? Production date circa 480 to 470 BC. Nice! We need to learn how to make that lovely data usable. Making usable data! When we talk about this amphora, we describe it in a sentence. The basic structure for that sentence needs to be subject, predicate and object. Don't make me learn a new word. Predicate is just the doing word which relates to the object. The verb! So for this lovely item we say the amphora was found in Mycenae. Amphora is the subject, found is the predicate and Mycenae is the object of the sentence. So now we know how to make usable data we need to learn how to make that data open and how to link it. So we are literally linking open data! First up, we need a persistent URL. I don't know what that is. A URL is a web address. Yes, I, I know that. So a persistent URL is a web address that never changes. A bit like you, dear. She made a joke! So each part of the data we made can have its own persistent URL. One for Amphora, one for found and one for Mycenae. Won't that take ages? It's quick to make a persistent URL, don't worry. Be persistent. She made another joke. Now we have a URL and we have the common system of structuring our data. So now we can link the data to each other and to other resources. This is the clever bit. The clever bit! So a clever chap called Tim Berners-Lee, who invented the World Wide Web apparently, set out a sort of grading system for linked open data, grading it from one star to five stars, five being the best. One star. You put data openly on the web. Two star. Make it available in a structured format. Subject, predicate, object. Precisely. Three star. Publish the data in an open format which everyone can use. Open format means that when you publish data, you use formats owned or created by a community of users, not just a company. This will have been made by the community and given for free so that anyone can access and manipulate your data. Four star. Use standards that are published. Similar to three star, this one is saying that the instruction manual for how to publish data should also be openly usable by anyone and cost nothing. Five star. Well, you do all of the above and most importantly, you link it to other people's data. Let's go and link some data. What? Why are you talking like that? What? <clears throat> it's fun.